What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be unboxing WWE Superstar Series 3 Mankind and it is brought to you by the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, my new book featuring a foreword by Matt Cardona and photography by the AEW Jazz Rose photographer Matthew Goldberg. You can also go to www.whatheel.com, join Whatnot today using that link it's below in the video description, and you will get $15 towards your first purchase, no questions asked. Now, we have unboxed the other Superstar Series 3 figures on the channel before, The Undertaker, and the last video we did Ted DiBiase and Papa Shango to together, and today we are going to complete the set um, loose. We already have it mint on card, but I was waiting for a loose, beat up Mick Foley, and we found it right here with this one. It actually has razor marks in it where the uh, employee cut right through the box. Um, which I'll never understand. There's like an X. The, the case, you can cut straight down the middle on the tape. I don't understand why some employees insist on doing the X to cut open a box when you can just cut right through the tape. Um, I guess because they don't feel like going down the middle on the sides, it's one less cut, whatever. Uh, but you end up damaging merchandise like this. But on the back, it has the old AWA style artwork, which I am a big fan of. The Have a Nice Day. It's got the, the Mankind Skull logo. Uh, I mean, Smiley Face logo. It's got the Sockos right there on the side, which I think is cool. It says Foley is good, Mandible Claw, Mrs. Foley's Baby Boy. Um, and this excellent artwork, line art of him there that is also on the front and colored in. Man, I, I just absolutely love this set. I do. So good. But uh, yeah, we're going to open it up, take a look at it. Man, look at this. Horrible. But as I've stated on the channel before... I like to um, tape the name badge to the accessories, but I think there's a certain hand that I want to use on this for uh, Mick. So, slice that open there. So we'll really analyze this bad boy. Because he was in the Bad Boys BCA series. All right. So we have him. I love that it's a cloth good shirt. Um, the Mankind shirt. It's got the logo over the left chest. The um, piping on the shirt, which is a different texture, almost like printed. And the back as well has the brown and silver. He's got the brown tights, the knee pads, nothing underneath. But Mick has abs. Um, I believe it's a removable mask. Yes. Removable mask, which is pretty cool. So you can pull the mask off. And it's a pretty good likeness there. And the mask goes on pretty easily. It actually hooks into his hair, which I think is quite unique as far as um, a Mankind figure. I don't think we've ever had one that hooks into his hair. Comes around the front. Goes under the hair a little bit. Tucked in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Looks great. Huh. Pretty unique way to, way to do that. Good job, Mattel. Um, he's got the mandible claw hand over here. And there's a couple additional hands that I am going to use. And I think I'm going to do the open, the open-handed one. Uh, the hand, the fingers aren't together. And also, I wish the peg was black instead of that. A little bit of a bummer. This is probably my least favorite from the set. And there's a couple reasons. He does not have the scar on his arm. He doesn't have hair on his arms. And the boots are not like the, um, the Mankind boots, which are not drawn on there, with the, uh, the brown uh, straps going across them. They did it on the One Elite 
um, that was the Amazon exclusive. And then when they re-released it in the Elite line, they just did regular boots like this. I wish they did the unique boot mold. I think that would have been a nice touch and really brought this uh, Mankind home. In a great set though, it's not a bad figure. It's just not my favorite. Um, I gotta say, oh, it's so hard for me to pick. I love this green suit, Ted. I love the Papa Shango. The Undertaker is A1. They're all great. This is probably the best series yet. I mean, look at the cuts on the shirt. This is a great looking figure. I think it's a nice touch that the mask is removable. Um, there's a lot of good here. There's a lot of good going on. I will say that there's a lot of good. The hair is nicely sculpted. Here's the back. You can see the back where the, the mask hooks in. Um, love the, the, you know, I love that it has the uh, cloth goods. I'm gonna stick with the um, the hand that he has though, because I I don't like that the fingers are separated on the open hand one. I wish the fingers were together, you know, kind of really showing off that mandible claw. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is. And I'll show you what I do. I do this on every video. I take the name tag, I put it here. And then I take the piece of tape that comes with it and I wrap it around. And that is how I know whose hands are whose. Obviously Mankind's are easy because he's got the tape on the fingers, but I like to keep all of my hands organized. For instance, I still have, I think Ted DiBiase's here and Papa Sean goes down there somewhere. But yeah, so that completes Superstar Series 3 for me, uh, the Loose Collection. We have Papa Shango, The Undertaker, Mankind, and Ted DiBiase. Comment below. Let me know your favorite figure in this set and if you're collecting them and how you're collecting them. Are you doing loose? Are you doing mint on card? I got to do both because it's just an excellent series. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Please, if you're not subscribing, do so. We're trying to get up there and it'll really help the channel grow and the brand itself. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. It features a foreword by Matt Cardona, photography by the AEW Jazz Rush photographer. It is over 500 pages, full color, black and white. You choose which one you want. And go to whatheel.com, join today, and get $15 off your first purchase on Whatnot. And go to prowrestlingtees.com slash figheel for all your merchandise needs. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Want to turn your collection from this into this? Then head over to Whatnot. Whatnot is a community marketplace with live stream auctions. See exactly what you're buying before you get it. Auctions starting at just $1. You can interact with sellers, celebrities, fans. It's safe and secure and has grail pieces for steel prices. So click the link in description below to join now and receive $10 towards your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.